Hey Treehouse, Coach Neil here. I just got done with this upcoming Wednesday's back squat, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a perspective on it. And with these strength endurance workouts in general, um, you know, we haven't been hitting a lot of times at our top weights, so, you know, maybe sometimes going after a um, 80% or 85% of what is your most recent one rep max. Um, if you haven't done it for a long time, it's going to be not possible. So you might have to back off. Okay, so that's something you want to think about. A good rule of thumb is if you haven't done a movement heavy for a while, then take 80% of what your previous one rep max is and then base the percentages off of that. So, for example... Um, if your deadlift was four uh, or 500 pounds, 80% of that's about 365. Okay, so take instead of to go to 80, then set for the Metcon or for the strength endurance, 80% of the 365, as opposed to 80% of the 500. Okay, that's something you want to be thinking of. And again, my numbers might be off, but whatever you know, as long as you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so back to the back squat. Uh, it's hard, but it's doable. You can do it. The tough part is going to be the last one, the 7 by 5 with 30 seconds of rest in between each set. You're going to feel like it's no rest at all. Uh, you're going to have to really make sure your belly is tight, lift that pelvic floor, squat nice and deep, and then push that ground away and lock out each rep at the top and take a deep breath in before you go back down, okay? Don't be trying to go up and down, up and down. It's going to be down, up, breathe down, up, breathe. That's the only way you're going to get through it by that point in time. All right. Hope that helps and uh, look forward to seeing everyone on Wednesday in the gym busting out some back squats.